Hey, before we get started with this week's uh, episode of the Only 15 Minute News Hour, we just got to say real quick, uh, with the, uh, everything that happened in Boston, uh, our thoughts go out to all the, the people that were affected by the bombings there. Dungus, we like to joke around and have a lot of fun, um, but our our heartfelt condolences go out to the the, the, the the victims, the survivors, their families, and everybody that was involved. And we want to give a big props to the first responders because Absolutely. you guys did an awesome job. Absolutely. All right. Uh, with that being said, this, this show, show is filmed in front of a live studio, studio audience. It's the only 15 minute news hour. It's the only 15 minute news hour. It's the only 15 minute news hour. Here's our sign. Here's our sign. Welcome to this week's issue edition of the only 15 minute news hour. I'm your host, James Ombi. And I'm Clay Ombi. And uh, bear with me, my voice. Uh, our band played a couple of shows, so uh, I'm a little bit hoarse. Uh, this week's episode of the Omi 15 Minute News Hour is brought to you by Western Family Black Cherry Soda. That's right, Western Family Black Cherry Soda. When you can't afford the real stuff, this stuff will do. When you're poor, we buy Western Family. Absolutely. Even when you're not poor, I've actually uh, got quite of a, uh, a harkened taste to this. Let's check it out here real fast. Man, that hits the spot. James? Uh, no, I'm good. All right. Well, anyways, Western Family Black Cherry Soda. Thank you for sponsoring our show this week. Let's get right to the new James. What do you say? Here we go. Uh, Kmart is under some heat this week uh, for their new ad campaign they have. Uh, their campaign states that Kmart can ship anything in their inventory, which is, you know, well, that's, that's a good, good. thing. Yeah. Yeah, nothing big there. Sure. <clears throat> but it was their, their play on words and their choice of product that's brought them under some heat. Apparently, the, uh, the two products that they chose to use in their uh, ad was pants okay. and a bed. Which are things that you normally wouldn't get at Kmart. No, but if you bought them and you wanted to ship them, mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, I'd just ship my pants. Oh, I just ship my bed. But I just ship the bed. No, no, I'm with you. Good I'm Lord, it, darling, I just ship the bed. <laughs> That's the pants. I ship my pants. You know, I bought some drawers at uh, at Kmart last week, and How I shipped those them. drawers. Well, you, I, you I, them? No, I ship my drawers. You yeah, ship my drawers. Ship my drawers. Yeah. That's so, uh, fantastic. Yeah. So uh, here's Kmart and shipping things. So. I bought a bathrobe. I shipped the bathrobe. <laughs> did you ship your, did you ship your robe? I, I had. Uh, yeah, I shipped the bathrobe. It was terrible. You know, I came out recently. I bought a kitchen set. You know, pots and pans and uh -huh. stuff. Yeah, I shipped the pots and I <laughs> <laughs> shipped the pans. <laughs> uh, I hate when I ship the pans. Yeah, you, you hate to have to ship nice dishes. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, moving on. A man was arrested in Salt Lake City, Utah, after the car that he stole broke down on the freeway. Twenty-eight-year-old James or Jim Flamens was allegedly wanted Let's for go selling by Jim. We'll go by I Jim. like Jim. I knew Jim. That yeah, I like Jim way better. Jimbo yeah. Flamens. Jim. He was allegedly wanted for uh, selling drugs in Salt Lake City. Mm-hmm. There you mm -hmm. go. Uh, witnesses called police after Flamens tried to break into a mobile home. Flamens fled the scene and then he carjacked the Jeep of 67-year-old Fred McIntyre. Problem was, the Jeep was on the way to the mechanic shop. McIntyre was quoted as saying, the Jeep couldn't go faster than 30 miles an hour. Now, after Flamens stole the Jeep, it broke down on the freeway on ramp where police arrested him on the spot. That's awesome. So yeah. the guy steals a car. Yeah. It's on the way to the mechanic shop. It's barely a car. It's barely it's barely moving. It's a lemon. It is a lemon. It is a lemon at A there. melon. It's a lemon. It's a, a melon. You stole a lemon. <laughs> so you steal this car. You get in there and you're like, dude, I am out of here. You throw it in, in high gear. You put the pedal to the floor. And you're doing 30. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It's, like, it's like the old Dotson pickup. That's what they would have stolen that new Nicolas Cage movie, Gone in 60 Minutes. <laughs> yeah, the Jeep the Jeep was broken down. So, hey, uh, any aspiring thieves, if you're going to steal a car, make sure it's not blowing up black-ass smoke out the back and going, cho 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 Yeah, steal when it runs. Oh, I would. Dude, and how happy was this guy? Is like, dude, you're stealing my car? Sweet! <laughs> and sure this thing's baby. a hunk of crap. Dude got on I'm, the news. Oh, dude, got yeah. The newspapers. I got a ch I'm going to check. He's going to check. Hunk of crap. It, even a $500 check would probably buy five Jeeps that he had. Oh, so and I'd, tell the, I'd tell the cops, I had like nine or ten laptops in there and uh, a whole right. bunch of expensive like my satellite. Russian, my Russian mail order bride was in the back <laughs> yeah. of that Jeep. I had some NASA equipment in there. Really expensive. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, Clay, you know the old saying, like father, like son? I do know that saying, actually, yeah, like father, well, like that, son. Well, that holds true for Antonius Hart Sr. and Antonius Hart Jr. 
father and son combination. Well, they got the same name, so Absolutely. I mean, I like father, like son, right? Yeah. So last Thursday, the Hearts placed an order at Prittle's Chicken Shack in Memphis, Tennessee. That's right, Prittle's Chicken Shack in, in Memphis. Memphis? Tennessee. Yeah, big shout out to Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Prittle's Chicken Shack. Uh, but they, they drove off from the drive thru uh, before realizing that they didn't have their full order of chicken. Now, how bad do you hate that when you go to the drive thru, you drive off, and you're like, damn, they forgot my fries, or, uh, you know, right. I got pickles left, on my hamburger. Yeah, they left the ketchup out. Yeah. So, uh, like anybody mm -hmm. else, they returned back to the drive thru. Well, when they returned the drive thru, uh, the cashier offered to replace the missing pieces of chicken, uh, but the investigator said the men demanded more chicken because they had to drive back to the restaurant. You know, reimbursement for gas and Well, it's like, like yeah. three, what, 40 a gallon now. <laughs> yeah. Like sure. Well, at this point, uh, Antonio, Antonius Hart Sr., 45, mm -hmm. uh, allegedly showed the cashier an AK 47 he had in the car. Uh, when the co-workers saw the gun, they called the police, both men were arrested. So here's the thing. You know, when you go through drive through you get your bag, you drive up into the parking lot, you go through it. Right. If you don't have what you had ordered, you go back through the drive through Normally. Or you pull over and you check your shit real quick yeah. and you run in. Sure. He goes back in, then he showed the AK-47. It's not like he had time to go home and get his gun. So homeboy is just like cruising around the car with an AK in the mm -hmm. back seat, just like, hey, I got an AK. I want some chicken. I'm in Memphis. I'm cruising. Give me my looking. damn chicken. I got an AK. I'm looking, I'm looking for. I want some. my chicken and waffles. He got the waffles. I want my chicken and waffles. I got an AK. See, according to Ice Cube, this was not a good day because no. dude had to use his AK. <laughs> dude. Well, he sang that song. I help me information. Get in touch with my Marie. Gonna shoot the shit out of someone at a chicken shack in Memphis, Tennessee. Do, 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 do. Only in Memphis. Yeah. Well, the, you know what? Had to use his AK. I had to bust out the AK for some chicken. Well, not only that, but even if you had time to go home, is that really something for breaking out a submachine gun or an automatic machine gun for? Yeah. Dude, I, I got five nuggets. I ordered six I nuggets. Six. Where's my bazooka? Give me my bazooka. This is supposed to be boneless. I got a bone in my boneless. In bone in my boneless. Give me my bazooka. I don't like bone in my boneless. Hey, speaking of bones in your boneless, bus drivers in Marcel, France, we surrender. Are going, they're going to go on strike. <laughs> France? This is how they drink in France. That's right. That looks like a urine sample, actually. It kind of tastes like it. <laughs> wee wee! Uh, yeah, bus it tastes like wee wee in my <laughs> sake glass. In a sake glass. Uh, bus drivers in Marcel, France are going on strike because, among other grievances, their uniform pants are just too tight. Obviously, Tom Jones was never a bus driver in France. <laughs> and if he was, he'd be the best damn bus driver France has ever seen. Here we get tips. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> well, I'm sure he had a tip in those tight-ass pants. <laughs> yeah, he showed the tip. Uh-huh. The drivers who work for the Public Transit Authority in Marcel will strike for 24 hours because they do not approve of the quality, the color, and the fit of the uniforms. Now, the quality and the color, but uh, the fit, I understand. You have to drive a bus all day, right? Uh, one of the uh, bus drivers told the La Province newspaper, quote, I won't be wearing them. You'd think we work for a car repair company. The shirts are all right, but the pants are way too tight. So they're complaining because their pants are way too tight. Mm -hmm. All right. Have you ever seen a bus driver? Their ass is like the size of the wall that sits behind us. Yeah. Like, have you ever seen like a skinny bus driver? No. Every bus driver, like, here's a... Uh, you apply for a bus driver, uh, you know, you ever driven a large vehicle? No. Is your ass like the size of a 48? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, you're hiring. You're hiring. Get yeah. on it. Get on it. Do you go like 350? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Seriously, you ever seen a skinny bus driver? No. Dude, you could put a bus driver in a car bra and it would still be tight. That's what they wear, actually, is car bras. Car bras. They just yeah. didn't like the quality or the color. Get those neon green car bras and we will talk. I and want you know, a neon green thing. car bra made out of suede. So, so the bus drivers are bitching about the color of their pants. Have you ever seen a UPS driver? <laughs> they wear brown, hey, dude. Hey, dude, what is brown done for you? <laughs> dude, brown ain't done shit for I me. Clogged up my toilet. Yeah, exactly. Hey, what, Mr. Pink? Because <laughs> you're a pussy, that's why. <laughs> that's well, I'm right. Mr. Brown. Yeah, I'm Mr. Brown. Let's go see Mr. Shit. Everybody wants to meet Mr. Black. You're Mr. Pink. <laughs> There's two ways to go on this job, Mr. Pink. My way or the highway. All right. Anyways, what do we got? You got another story for me? I got a great story for you. Let's hear this, it. Yeah, this one's uh, kind of close to home here in the like local it. state of Washington. Oh, right on. Uh, Washington story. Good. Gay marriage is legal. Okay. Pot. Marijuana is now legal. You know what's still illegal in the state of Washington? Obviously, sexually abusing a horse. 
Uh, this comes to us out of Washington County. A man was arrested Wednesday for repeatedly trespassing into a Washington County barn and sexually abusing a horse. <laughs> Tony Hall Revis, 47, was taken into custody without incident. The suspect was causing concern because the activity was increasing in frequency and several times Hall Revis had to be chased off the property by the landowner. Detectives alleged that Hall Revis had been trespassing on the property since l late last September. <laughs> uh, Summer love yeah. happened so fast. <laughs> yeah, apparently in September, you know, uh, they could not identify Mr. Revis until recently when they took DNA samples from the horse. Well, they couldn't identify him because they didn't lift up the tail. <sighs> Dude... It, it, you know what's bad when they can track DNA samples from a horse yeah. back to you. You know what I mean? Well, here's what I want to know. The uh, the horse. Now, I've, I've been to the fair, so I've seen some of the male horses, and they're like swinging that Louisville slugger. That poor female horse looked back and she's like, I always get the short ones. Yeah, yeah. Ask really? her the size doesn't matter. What is this, a miniature? You know? <laughs> it's, 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 seriously. That's an old, ugly white dude, too. Yeah. Well, where, what, how does that even happen? Or you, when you're sitting around one day, Gilligan's Island rerun is over, you're getting ready to watch some pro wrestling, you're like, you know what? I got a hankering for a filly. <laughs> for a horse. <laughs> ah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go get me some horse. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a little bit of I horse. Want some, I want get, some nooner, some horse. That's right. Get a little horseradish on there. And here's my question. This guy ready? can't go down to any local bar in Hillsboro, Washington. Dude, dude lives in Hillbro, Hillsboro, Washington. You tell me that there's not a bar fly that you can't go drop like 20 do, bucks? Do they have an Aslan Finch there? Because they got that big stone horse outside of Aslan well, Finch. Well, the, the best part is they said he had an escape route. That they chased him off the property. He had an escape route. So the dude like had planned it out. Like He like sat down. All right, here we go. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here, here's you. I'm gonna, here's I'm, gonna, the horse. I'm gonna sneak around the pig pen. Right, right, I'm gonna right. go through the chicken coop uh -huh. in there. I'm gonna grab me a cock and some fucking uh, you know a little teaser in there. Uh -huh. Everybody likes a little little cock preparation. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna uh, have sex with his horse. <laughs> and before the land <laughs> the landowner don't come chase me out, probably with a shotgun. And then I have an escape route. I'm gonna go through the barbed wire around the broken down Chevy, over the flatbed that's broken down there, past the cardboards, over the old Christmas tree that's still laid out there, and bam, I'm on the back fence. I didn't know he was in my back And yard. here's the best part. We have a mug shot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're telling me that guy? Don't look at that guy. Well, 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 he's got the hair. Dude, you guys are the You know what? You, 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 hang on, sorry. You had me at cock preparation. <laughs> what do you... What are you in for? Molesting a dead horse. I didn't even know that was against the law anymore. <laughs> that guy's a horse molester if I've ever seen one. Look at that. You want to see a freaking poster child of a horse molester? That guy. But he's oh, got a nice man. <laughs> That's a nice hoodie. Yeah, he's got a good hoodie going on. That's wow. awesome. <laughs> wow. Only in Washington. Okay, yeah, apparently. Oh, man. You know why it's always windy and I don't <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, I'll dun, tell dun, you dun. why it's always windy in Idaho. Because <laughs> Washington sucks and Montana blows. <laughs> oh, where's my sake? <laughs> we're, we're, we're sorry. We don't really like to be more professional than uh, this. Hey, uh, I got another, right, my, another news story. No, that brings okay. us to this week's 10 second rule. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, this okay. week's 10 second rule is sponsored by this guy. <laughs> he drinks black cherry western family uh, stuff. Okay, Clay, so this week's in, uh, 10 second rule is uh, in 10 seconds, you have to name as many things that you would not want to get caught sexually abusing. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Ten things you do, or in ten seconds, as many things you do not want to get caught sexually abusing. Uh, this week's uh, Dungus uh, only fifteen minute news hour clock, and here we go, Clay. On the count of seven, one, two, seven. 
Uh, Rhiannon, uh, Rosie O'Donnell, Rush Limbaugh, uh, Glenn Beck, Glenn Hubbard, uh, Glenn Jerry, uh, 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 Jerry Diamond, that black Jerry dude that sang that stupid song, um, uh, Nell Carter, uh, Jimmy Carter, Jimmy Swagger, uh, Jimmy Walker. Time! Damn it! Nice. Good job, dude. That was that was yeah, good. Yeah, that was under pressure. You got three. Awesome. You got uh, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. <laughs> you got uh, Bill Murray. And you got Hank Parker. There you go. Good job. You got three. That's awesome. Thank you. Hey, that's better than the negative six I got last week, so I'm happy. You but I did leave out Nipsey Russell, and uh, just so you know, I would not want to be caught sexually abusing Nipsey Russell. <laughs> a man in Palma, Spain was arrested after breaking into a bar and falling asleep on the couch. Now tell me if this hits home to you. You ever done that before? I've never broke into a bar and fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> I went into the bar sober... Planning on leaving about 10.30, got drunk, and someone woke me up on the bar stool, huh? What? Fell asleep on the couch, and it turns out her name was Jennifer Couch, and <laughs> behold, lady. Anyways, investors, uh, investors or investigators, or investors, in Palmer responded to a call about 9 a.m. Tuesday and discovered a 50-year-old man had broken a window, went inside, and ransacked the bar before falling asleep on the couch inside the bar. The police say the suspect... Who was highly intoxicated. Oh, no kidding. You broke into a bar. Yeah. Well, was found to be carrying several cell phones, credit cards, lipstick, and makeup cases. All right. Now, that's where I would be concerned. No, they okay. obviously just robbed Justin Bieber's house. If I went into a bar and I got drunk, passed out, you know, that's mm -hmm. one thing. If you wake up and you have lipstick and makeup in your pocket, yeah, no, you tied one on. You you were doing something. Yeah, you were partying. Yeah, you had a good, you had you, a good night. You, you did some crazy shit right there. There's nothing like getting home. You see those Taco Bell commercials where the guys get home and they're like, "What did we do last night?" And they're like, "Oh, we obviously went to Taco Bell." You imagine that guy gets home. What did we do last night? And it looks and he's like, "Oh, I got lipstick, lipstick, makeup case, makeup case." I was at a Jonas Brothers concert. <laughs> he had no idea. I partied uh, with Justin Bieber. Last anyways, night. the guy was quoted as saying, "I was so drunk, I didn't know what I was." doing i have no idea how i ended up sleeping on that couch now every just about every single man has said that at one time or another seriously honey i have no idea how this makeup and lipstick in there I, I just i i just woke up in a bar and i had some makeup cases they must have slipped me a mickey at the bar see that's what happened is he went to the bar yeah he picked up some bar fly, some we, hag we, we've been suckered in yeah and uh, he's like, there's no way I'm going home to my old lady. Yeah, no I'm shit. just going to break through the window and go pass out on the couch right there. Might as well do it. Let's get to some uh, entertainment news. What do you say? Let's do some entertainment news, Clay. All right. Well, the big story in entertainment this week, it was Snoop Dogg's 420 party in Hollywood. Snoop Dogg threw a 420 party at his Hollywood Hills mansion. Um... Apparently, it was called the Snoop Lion, excuse me, Snoop Lion 420 Festival. It's a giant party in Hollywood Hills Mansion to celebrate all things cannabis. It started at 11 a.m., but the party quickly crashed and burned, and burned, I like that, thanks to neighbors. Several of Snoop's neighbors complained to authorities about noise levels and parking situation caused by the hordes of stone party goers. Cops arrived shortly, and they stopped the party. They even stopped it before Snoop could get there. All right, so you live next door to Snoop. And it's 419. Don't you think you might be getting a knock on your door saying, hey, we're going to throw a party here tomorrow night, 187 on a cop or whatever. See, I don't even think that you get a knock on your door. I think that it's 419 and you live next door to Snoop. It's pretty much a given. Dude, that, you know what? He's probably going to throw a party. If you live next door to Snoop, how are you not always high on the contact high? Well, and here's the thing about Snoop. Okay, Snoop, let me give you a little piece of advice here, bro. From Dungus. <clears throat> let, me, let, let me give you some Dungus we advice. We want to lay it out here right? for you. I'm going to help you out, bro. That's how it is. Here's the thing. Okay. Uh, cannabis, legal in Colorado and Washington. Correct. Not, color, or not California. Not California. Here's what you do, homeboy. You go rent a big pimp ass suite in Seattle. Or Denver. Or, or uh, dude, Aspen. Dude, go rent out oh. like, the whole ski lodge of Aspen, dude, and yeah. have a Colorado high. Yeah, you, you talk know, about Rocky, the, the Rocky Mountain high. The Rocky Mountain yeah, high. The Rocky Mountain high. Rocky Mountain high, Rocky Mountain high. Colorado. Colorado. You want to be in the Mile High Club? Snoop Dogg, you, do, Snoop Dogg. You, you go, you rent a uh, ski lodge in Aspen, Mile High. There you go. That's how you party, dude. No, I'm uh, California. But we, we, we can't really blame Snoop for this because, uh, I mean, the dude changed his name from Snoop Dogg to Snoop Lion. So basically, he changed species. Yeah, he, he, was, he was a canine, and he's a feline. And, and now, yeah, yeah. Think a mean pussy make a man change species. <laughs> well, apparently it did. <laughs> uh, 
Clay, the marriage of Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys, in case you haven't didn't know this, I didn't. is officially over. Whoa, 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 they're not together. They're uh, apparently they're not together anymore. So who? I mean, who, they got married. Who, and, who who got her pregnant? Was that Ray J with the porno? Uh, Kanye South. Oh. Shit. Oh no, actually, I take no. It wasn't. It was that who's the country western singer? Um, oh, Kanye Twitty. Kanye Twitty. That's who it Kanye was. Twitty. So, apparently, uh, Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphries, they were married in August of 2011. Right. Uh, they split up in October of 2011. Okay. The marriage lasted a grand total of 73 days. She has been pregnant with Kanye's baby longer than that. Her okay. porno with Ray J lasted longer than that. <laughs> Dude, she had a hangnail that lasted longer than that. <laughs> and it's just now being uh, accepted through a divorce court? I mean, come on. Really? Bruce Jenner's plastic surgery took longer than that to heal. <laughs> but Here's my Bruce Jenner impression. But, you know, here's, here's the funny thing. is it took uh, Their marriage lasted 73 days. It took 104 days for them to mold Bruce Jenner's face out of plastic. Because they had to go in and like mold it over a thing and then they like mounted it on like Phantom of the Opera and like spray painted that weird like Joker Jack Nicholas before the he puts the music paint on. of the night. Yeah. It's like the Joker when he wakes up in the morning, is what Bruce yeah. Jenner looks like. Like this, yeah. this town needs an enema. Play sports, you wanna do anything about sports? Yeah, I actually do want to do something about Let's sports, do some sports, but I can't. Find it. Christ to hell with it. All right. Well, I'm going to talk about sports real quick. All right. Let's uh, do it. Gonzaga Bulldogs. We love them. Kelly Olenek's going pro. All right. Good. Out yeah. the door. Out All right. So, Kobe Bryant. Let's see what you did. Uh, you couldn't get us past this to the 32nd round. Out. All right. All right. Go. go. Enough hey, him. Uh, which done. Say. Hey, Kobe Bryant so, yeah. tore his Achilles tendon is done for the season, and everybody kind of knows that. However, the NBA star high on is apparently tranquilizers or whatever drugs that he was on. Um took to Facebook and let the world know that he would be ready for the NFL season. Yes, the NFL season. Uh, Brian, barely incoherent on pain pills, took to Facebook at 4 o'clock in the morning saying that he will suit up for the Lakers as quarterback for week one of the NFL season. Wait. Read that one more time. Kobe Bryant took to Facebook at 4 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. saying he will suit up for the Lakers as quarterback for the NFL season. Okay. Yeah. He was quoted as saying, My man, RG3, you do it, I do it. It a bet, dog. My throwing arm is not hurt. I will just be more of a pocket quarterback. Never been more motivated to win the Super Bowl. It's Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Obviously on some great meds right there. Apparently some uh, some uh, person that works in a hotel in Colorado slipped him a Mickey. Uh, uh, other sports news? Real yeah, quick. I got another one here. Uh, Liverpool striker Luis Suarez, who in 2010 earned a seven, ban, uh, seven match ban, thank you, for biting an opponent as a back at it again. He apparently bit... Branislav Ivanic during yesterday's match at Chelsea. FIFA officials now hold his professional fate in their hands. However, within hours of the biting, Mike Tyson began to follow Suarez on Twitter. Maybe he might hook up with my man Pete Finlandia from the Australian Football League who uh, chomped down on another man's yam bag. Dude, you do not bite another man's leather, leather bit it, Bit the dude in the testicle. Dude. It, dude, under worst, scrotum. Under worst cases of suffocation, that's one of those things that you just don't do. Well, uh, can you? What was the guy's name? Kolslaw or something? His name was a uh, Branislav. Branislav. Oh. Ivana. Ivana. The, Ivana Smith. Uh, dude, uh, 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 banana Kolslaw Smith. Right awesome. hand. Uh, hey other, James. Other sports news. Uh, Gray beat Crimson in the Who Gives a Crap WSU scrimmage. Like we oh care. my God! You want to hear something Rats that pisses me off? WSU. Here's here's a here's yeah. a rant a for rant. you. What in the hell is the deal with colleges saying, "Oh, everybody come out and watch the the crimson versus the gray, the blue versus the blue, the white versus the whatever"? What you know? Who gives a shit? It's a practice game. People actually show up in the freezing rain and cold. And you know what? Thank God that it poured ass rain at Joe Albee Stadium when the Crimson and the Gray played. You know what? The Crimson play, Gray, Gray played? I had my money on Joe Albee. I wish the guy that turf would have took them all out. Even God hits the Washington State. He made it rain all day. It's That's Washington awesome. State. And let me, let me here's my, my point. Dude, Crimson, Gray, whatever. I'm colorblind. Who gives a rat's ass? I can't see what it's. To James, gray it was the gray. gray versus Gray. It's game. Gray versus other Gray. All of them are the Gray they versus all suck Gray. Because it's WSU. I don't give a shit. Anyway. Gray versus Gray game. That's what I'm talking this about. This has been this edition of the OMB 15 Minute News Hour. If you guys like what you heard, hit us up on our Facebook Dungus page or uh, go ahead and message myself or uh, my brother James Dungus here on our Facebook pages. Uh, uh, if you guys have any rants or anything you want to talk about, any funny news stories, news, if you just wake up in the morning and you scratch your armpit and it smells funny, let us know what it smells like. We'll throw it on the air. 
<laughs> uh, thanks to our sponsor, Western Family Black Cherry Black Soda. Cherry soda. That's what I'm talking. It's man, check this out. This is that good? Oh, it's so is refreshing. It, it, you want to no. bust out some of that? No, no, I'm good. You got your sake? All right. Well, here, here's your sake. All right. Thanks Snoopy. for watching. We are Dungus. I'm Clay. Hey, did you get that cut from the Snoop Dogg 420? The, the this Snoopy actually Dogg came from the after party. This was the Snoopy 420 the, party. The yeah, everybody got around and smoked <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Um, hey, on that note, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Have a good week. We'll see you next time. That was the OMB 15 Minute News Hour. That was the OMB 15 Minute News Hour. That was the OMB 15 Minute News Hour. Here's our sign. Here's our sign. You know, in this very day, Lewis Pasteur is coming up with a way to cure horse and mouth disease all together. Never mind that shit. Here comes Mongo. You stop it any minute now. <laughs> that was a great finish. <laughs>